Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to a new video. Today's video is my annual, very highly requested coat haul and try on, though we are gonna have a couple of non-coats thrown in here as well, because I just have a couple of new bits to show you, which I'm really excited to show you in all honesty. One of them lovely and seasonal, and the other I'm actually wearing, and it's not. I got this from Mango. It's a really cute little white, just like off-white waistcoat with a little flower, and I thought given all of the occasions coming up over the next year where I'm gonna get to wear white or gonna need to wear white, this would be an amazing addition to my wardrobe. Wardrobe. So loving this, it fits like a dream. I will put sizing and everything in the info box because I cannot remember it. So this is what it looks like. It's halter neck, which I love. I just find it very flattering, very feminine. Gets a big thumbs up from me. This is the little flower that is on it. It's not removable, so do bear that in mind. But yeah, I just absolutely love it. And I've paired it with these off, just off white like ecru trousers from Zara that I've had for so long. I actually own them three times over and I've tailored them to different lengths, but they actually match perfectly. I did buy another pair of mango trousers that looked like they were going to match and they were both called the same color. They are not the same color. So luckily they match perfectly with the Zara trousers. And yeah, I love it, it's gorgeous. Would highly recommend whether you're a 2024 bride like me or you just literally love a little white halter neck waistcoat with a little flower on it. But the other item I picked up that is lovely and seasonal is this white, off-white knitted skirt. It looks so cute. I'm really hoping that it is good with my height. I'm five foot two for reference if you're new to the videos. As everyone asks me when I try on coats, coats look very long on me. So bear that in mind. Go with it. We have this gorgeous knitted jumper and I just love the idea of having this set. I think it would just be such a go-to for me over the autumn and winter months. I actually used to have a set like this from ASOS, which I wore literally until it started getting holes in and threads pulled. It was very similar to this, but on, in a mini skirt. I much prefer a midi now though. So I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. Is this a midi or is this a maxi? I think this is gonna be more of a maxi on me. I'm praying the length is okay in all honesty, but yeah, I'm so excited to try those on. In addition to all of the coats that we have today. So I'll show you what these look like on now. Okay. You guys, let me know what you think of this. I think it's so nice. However, I'm just struggling with my choice of like casual shoe with it a little bit. Dressing this up, very easy, like a good pair of boots underneath this. You can't go wrong. Or if I wanted to wear a heel with it, I could. However, the casual shoe I've paired it with is a like ballet flat. And I don't really know if that is the vibe that we're going for, but I also didn't feel like a trainer felt quite right either so I'm struggling to think of what else there is left apart from slippers going into winter where i just don't feel like a fluffy slider is appropriate so tbc on the footwear situation but this is just such a nice little set so the jumper is very long i really like the way it falls it kind of is oversized but it hugs nicely so that it doesn't feel like it's too bulky on top of the skirt which is very long it literally touches the floor on me and if I'm wearing like a more bulky shoe that has a bit more of a kind of thicker sole it will be absolutely fine or if I want to wear a very flat ballet flat I can just roll it up once at the waist it's got kind of this like elasticated waistband and you can really easily roll it up one if you wanted to and you can't really see it too badly through the jumper the jumper is just so cute like so it's soft and slouchy and you could like roll it up if you wanted to have it like sitting like that or you can have it just completely flush to the skirt however you want really i just think it's such a beautiful set that i couldn't pass up the chance to pick this up so i know that this obviously isn't part of the coat haul really but yeah i wanted to show you this and get your thoughts on it before we get into the coats because i just think it's so gorgeous and such a nice set to have for chilly days when you're just around the house but you could also dress this up if you do christmas day more casually this could be a stunning like christmas day casually but you don't wear pajamas this could be such a stunning set to wear on christmas day so i will link this if it's still available let me know your thoughts but yeah let's get into the coats so mango this year have brought back a lot of my favorites that i already have in my wardrobe so what i'm going to do is link my previous coat try on oh my god i have fluff on my face from the jumper oh no i'm gonna link my previous big coat haul and try on from last year and i'll update the links for you if they need updating but specifically there's a pea coat which mango do which has more 
more of a structured shoulder and it's shorter which i love it's perfect for nights out then you have the mango coatigan which is phenomenal they bring it back every year I adore it. I have had mine since 2018. They're still bringing it back. It sells out every year. So if it's still in stock, I will link it. I'll also, if you don't want to go and watch the video and you don't want to see them, I will also link them in the info box for this video. But Mango also have some beautiful new coats this year, some of which you will have seen in my last haul. So I don't want to chat on too much about these, but I will link them and you can watch the other video if you want to see me try them on. But I actually missed the returns on my last order because I literally went away on holiday the week later and got engaged and then completely forgot about my mango order sitting in the spare room so not ideal but I only had a couple of things to send back and this was one of them and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it so many of you told me to keep it so we'll see how I get on and if not I will pop it on my reliked by the way if you want to shop any of my old clothes I now have them listed on reliked so I will link that as well if you want to go and check it out so yes picked up this one earlier in the season and then also have it in black as well and I am getting so much wear out of the black for like everyday wear this I actually love worn more casually with like gray trackies I really like the mix of grey and the camel. The camel does feel quite dressy and soft so I like to add like active wear with it a little bit more to combat that so yeah that's how I've been wearing it so far but these coats are beautiful I would highly recommend them if you're looking for a new coat not part of the haul but I couldn't not give them a mention because they are stunning and before we finally get into the haul I couldn't not mention the two jackets which I've added into my wardrobe already this season so we have the Arquette like dog tooth brown and black jacket which it's very lightweight i really like it i love a short jacket as well it's like a pea coat type jacket because i'm shorter i just really get on with this style of coat i find them very flattering and i've been loving wearing this one this looks lovely with a pair of flat kind of knee high boots and some skinny jeans and then of course we also have my new burgundy jacket which is from jane and tash which i have not stopped wearing and if you're looking for an autumnal jacket i could not recommend their jackets enough they also do insane winter coats which i actually haven't purchased one of this year i already have a big teddy bear coat from them i'm not really feeling like i need to add to that collection my teddy bear coat collection it's quite full there is no more room at the inn but i needed a new leather jacket i was really not enjoying the more biker style like the tougher style and i love that this has minimal like buttons zips it's a very girly leather jacket and i've been really really enjoying wearing it i've been getting so much wear out of it i adore it so if you're looking for a jacket more than a coat i could not recommend this highly enough so just in case you haven't seen the coats that i have previously bought this is the first one from mango in black i adore this if you can see lint on it and a lot of dog fur all of that is because it is already worn and loved i adore this i literally pick it up every time i leave the house and it's a very cold morning at the moment it's gorgeous the shoulders are very structured on this so do keep that in mind i find i definitely have to be wearing like a pair of killer boots or trainers on the bottom to really balance it out otherwise it can definitely swamp me but i love it so 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 much and then we have the camel one or tan whatever color you want to call it this one actually feels lighter which is so strange to me like the materials i would say are quite wildly different like same lovely soft feeling but they do this one does feel a lot lighter so i wear this one on cooler days and like i said i like to wear this with more like active wear type stuff i don't normally wear it like this but so many of you said that it looked so nice on me and really like lifted my complexion and that i should keep it and the return gods heard you and they got their way so this is another one of my coats for this autumn winter and then we also have the dream jacket the wire cell dupe that i love and i'm just head over heels obsessed with this color i love this color so much in fact i have loved this color for years the school across the road from mine always used to have this as their uniform color and i was so jealous and it was me in my ugly navy blue which does not do anything for my complexion but yeah no i love it so much it is definitely pricey and just such an investment purchase for me but i adore it i have not stopped wearing it and i get so excited on days when i have an outfit that this goes with 
In fact, I would say the wear of these black trousers has increased by like 200% since I got this jacket because they just go so well together. And this is the houndstooth brown and black coat. Again, just a really nice cropped, relaxed style coat. You can wear it with more tailored items, like I'm wearing it with my tailored wide leg trousers at the moment, but it also looks lovely with a pair of leggings and like a welly boot. So it really is a nice kind of jacket coat i would say it's a hybrid of both like it's a lightweight coat that can do you for different situations and like realistically do we want to be buying tons of different coats for different occasions like this is one of those lovely coats that could do you for a number of different situations and therefore is a lovely investment in your wardrobe i also think our cat maybe do this in different colors as well so i would definitely look into that but yes big fan of a crotch jacket i think the brown and the black lends it to being smart and casual at the same time so yeah i'm a big big fan of this i've got a lot of wear out of it so far it's just really lovely i also love how when you wear it open and relaxed it's got that kind of v shape to it but you can do it up as well so it's got buttons all the way down and you can have it going across like this and it looks a little bit kind of smarter and a bit more preppy it's just a really lovely versatile jacket and i would highly recommend it it's also just lovely and autumnal because of that brown tone so we love. <laughs> but anyway let's get in to the mango order we have bits from mango and bits from asos and the areas that i was looking to invest in for a coat this year number one is like a tie waist that i really love because i that's something that i'm really lacking in in my wardrobe at the moment lots of my coats are just very oversized and there's no tie waist to them there's no cinching and i really loved this camel tone this is slightly darker and more rich than the other mango coat that i showed you at the start of this video and i just love the look of it so i'm really hoping that i get on with this one okay it feels nice and soft sometimes you don't know what kind of feel the coats are going to be until they come sometimes they're like quite a rough wool or a rough cotton but this is lovely it's like a brushed effect i think this color is going to be really nice on me what do we think wait what is happening here how am i meant to try that on there's like a bit of plastic connecting it why would you do that that's interesting anyway i got this in a size small and i will link it below if you want like pricing and everything so it doesn't say on the tag and i'm hoping it will have like a nice oversized feel to it because we can cinch it in at the waist i didn't want it too tight around the arms we want to be able to wear a little bit of knitwear underneath it this is the tan tie waist coat on first kind of look it didn't feel like sensational to me and the material isn't like the softest so it's not the most luxurious feeling coat in the world however i do just really like the relaxed feel of it like i do feel a little bit like i'm wearing a dressing gown when i wear these high waist coats but i kind of love that and i think especially with my style the relaxed vibe of it is really really nice so i'm really intrigued to get your guys feedback but i am struggling a little bit we're going to see how i feel at the end of this video once i've tried on all of the coats because there might be something better in the orders that i've done and i'm definitely i only want to keep things that feel absolutely like sensational standout items stunning gorgeous like i am just going to keep them forever and ever and right now i'm just kind of sitting on whether this feels like that i do really like the tone of it i think this camel tone suits me really nicely there's something about it that like blends with my skin tone nicely and i can't really put my finger on what it is there's something about it that i just think is very softening and i don't know i don't know i just love it so yeah let me know what you think it is really nice it is really nice hmm let's see let's see then we have a couple of more practical options i actually really need to replace my puffer coats they are disgusting i have tried and tried and tried to get like stains out of them and they are just not coming out it's so sad because i adore my puffer coats so much i will pop photos of them here if i can find any i have one black one from zara and then an e-crew one from all saints and i adore them however they also are really big on me now when i got them i was more like a size 10 and now i'm basically like somewhere between a six and an eight depending on what month you catch me on so i actually got this little cropped puffer coat i did size up which is 
sounds so dumb after what I've just said, but because they looked like they ran smaller, I thought it was just a good idea to size up. And I do think the sizing of it looks really good. Like my All Saints one is just far too big on me. And I just, it's, it kind of looks verging on a little bit silly, but I think this is gonna be the perfect kind of oversized look, or I'm hoping so anyway. I also really like the fact that this one has a hood. I need to take the plastic off, hang on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sat here like this. But yeah, this one has a hood and that is something that my All Saints one does not have and it's something that I am massively sorely missing in my coat collection. I don't think I have, I don't think I have a single coat that has a hood and it becomes really problematic, obviously, with the wet weather that we have all the time in the UK. So yeah, I'm hoping, this isn't, this isn't gonna be cute. Like this is, we've got an elasticated hood situation. I am gonna look like such a nerd in this, but I will be a dry nerd, so I'll take that. And it's also elasticated at the bottom, which I really like as well. So yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this looks on. I think the tone's gonna be okay with my skin tone. It's not too yellow, so. Fingers crossed. Marshmallow loading. What do we think? It's actually very light. I don't know how well this would keep me warm like in the depths of winter. I think it might need to be a bit thicker, but in terms of like an in-between autumn and winter coat that keeps me dry, this could be great. I actually need to do my research though. I've just had a thought I need to figure out if these are actually genuinely waterproof. So like, can I go out in torrential rain in this or is this more of a like keeping my hair dry whilst I pop out and it's like showering a bit. I also think the hood on this is ridiculous. Not entirely sure on this. However, I do really like the cropped aspect of it. And I think when I'm wearing trousers like these, but I need to, I like if I need to be wearing a puffer coat, it does, I don't feel like I'm, drowning whereas i couldn't wear my previous puffer coats that i've owned because they're so oversized i can't wear them with like a pair of wide leg trousers so there is that let me know what you think but yeah overall really happy with the fit of this like i'm really happy with the sizing if i'd have gone for a small it would obviously be that much more cropped and fitted i actually think this is really nice or if i want to put knitwear on underneath like there's there's room for knitwear and then it's not too tight so yeah let me know what you think i know these aren't really the sexiest coat in the world but this year i just am in need of something a little bit more practical so let me know what you think of this one i've also got a black puffer coat as well this one's slightly different in its style so this one has a hood as well it's actually removable i believe yeah we've got a little zip that goes around the side which i love i really like the fact that they do removable hoods because sometimes you just don't need the extra bulkiness sometimes you just want to wear the jacket and not have the hood on the back so loving that we've got elasticated cuffs which is great but no kind of elasticated waistband at the bottom i got this in a size medium i think it's gonna be a really good fit like knowing what my other puffer coats look like these i think are gonna be a really nice fit for me and they just feel so this one especially feels so nice. Like if I was going to recommend one of the two, I think it would be this one. I obviously need to try them on, but just from the feel, this one feels really expensive and I really like that. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep both. I might just keep one. I'm really excited to try this on. This feels like it's gonna be so snuggly. Also, if anyone knows of any way that I can protect the collar on both of them, like even the black one, I find my SPF like kind of rubs and stains around the collar. Like, do I need to spray hairspray? What do I need to spray on this to stop that from staining? Because so many people told me to try and use makeup remover, it did not work. I have used everything under the sun, I have washed it, nothing is getting, like there's a whole white strip around the collar and I really don't want that happening again. So if you have any tips on how to stop staining around the collar, from SPF specifically, because it's not an orange stain, it's a white stain. Please let a girl know, because I don't want to ruin another coat. Okay, so based on the try-on of the E-Crew puffer jacket, I think this one could be a better fit for me in terms of the warmth factor. Like this one is gonna be a better winter coat. Yes, yes it is. I can literally already tell this is a stunning winter option. The other one is more mid-season, more in the middle. This is, this is snuggly. This is what I've been looking for. <laughs> Bear with me whilst I check in the mirror. Yeah, okay, so the hood 
the hood is good the hood is it's really giving it's very thick as well so i feel like even if this coat isn't fully waterproof it's gonna take a while for the water to seep through like i'd have to be out walking for a really really long time it also has buttons sorry if i'm shouting because i actually can't hear myself now that's how powdered this is it has buttons so i can like do the thing up it's not too oversized which i love so it will work with like trousers like this if i do really need to wear a puffer coat like the amount of times that i'll be wearing something smart and going somewhere smart and need to wear a puffer a need to wear a puffer coat are probably limited but every so often you just have one of those moments and if your puffer coat doesn't look smart it doesn't work it just doesn't look great so overall i think this is fab and it will just i know this will look good with like leggings and trainers like warm more casually but i think the more cropped fitted element of it compared to what i already own is just a lot better suited to my wardrobe. I'm very happy. This is definitely a keeper. So if anyone can give me tips on how to not ruin the collar and stain it with my SPF, that would be sensational. Oh, it just feels, it feels so nice. Would really, like if you're gonna buy one coat, I actually think it should be this one. In all honesty, let's be practical. Let's be real here. This is the one you need. I hope it's still in stock. So those are the mango coats. And then I saw a few coats on ASOS that I really like the look of. So we're going to get into them now and see. I haven't shopped on ASOS in a while. I don't know how this is going to go, but let's find out. So firstly, we have this very gorgeous brown it's like a rich brown coat it's really really beautiful it's not come looking too pristine when you see me try this on just know that it's it's looking a little bit creased on the bottom half a little bit crumpled so we'll just use our imagination and ignore those it's from Topshop I got it in a size small and it has this kind of little collar at the top. It's got buttons half the way down. And then it also has a tie waist as well. I'm really excited to try this on. I love the colour. I'm just not sure on the material. It doesn't feel like the best quality. But we're going to try it out either way. It is very long. Wow. Oh, it's got a thing. What is that? Is that okay? Hmm. That's slightly unnecessary, but okay. So this is the long brown coat from ASOS. It's very long, like I, I know that that's obviously like a bit of a, it's still, a, the maxi coat is still a thing. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad, especially once you, once you belt it. However, I just don't really feel like it's doing anything for me, figure wise. I actually think if you're a lot taller, this is probably a much better option, but I don't really have much of a torso. I don't have much in the way of leg. I don't think my proportions are really very well suited to this this is more like a a tall a tall build person coat if that makes sense in all honesty i've also just never found this style of collar massively flattering but i wanted to try it anyway i wanted to bring some variety here try something new i love the color i think the mango coat because it has that v and that wrap around style it's a little bit more flattering whereas this is very high up it just makes me feel like there's a lot of material here it feels very boxy on the chest and i just don't really feel like it's giving it's also very it's got a lot of got a lot of cuff going on here i'm not not a fan not a fan we also have this cute little mini coat it feels more like a coat than a jacket it's quite thick it's in this really gorgeous like chevron tweedy kind of material it's got a collar and then it's double breasted it's so so nice this with wide leg trousers and a pair of trainers stunning just left open i think it would look so nice so relaxed and really really chic so i'm excited to try this on it's from stradivarius on asos i got it in a size small it doesn't say how much it was so again I, I will link to everything in the info box but yeah this looks gorgeous okay this is really nice would really recommend if you're looking for a cropped jacket especially if you want kind of the look that the burgundy leather jacket gives me but you don't really want a leather jacket but you like the kind of cropped boxiness with a wide leg trouser and you're looking for that kind of vibe i would really recommend this i think it's so beautiful i'm a big fan of this big big fan i don't feel like there's much more to say but it is quite nice and thick like if you're not a coat girly the coat girlies will be screaming like who is not a coat girly if you're a coat girly you do not understand the non-coat girlies however i've been both and this is one of those jackets that's really nice it's got a little bit of a lining to it so it doesn't feel too thin and it also just feels like it's kind of 
holding in a little bit of the warmth a little bit better yeah it's really gorgeous and nice and smart as well but you can wear it open and give it that more kind of relaxed feel and with the wide leg trouser and a pair of trainers i can't fault it i think it's gorgeous so yeah big fan of this i think it would also look nice with like a wide leg jean as well if you wanted to go down that route but you know me big fan of my wide leg trousers really cute would highly recommend if you like something a little bit more cropped i don't think i'm gonna love this but we're gonna try it anyway so this is a recycled wool coat from selective fen on asos i got it in a size size 36 it's got this almost ribbed knit texture to it it almost looks like cord and it's double breasted we've got cute little cuffs and it also has a tie-up waist as well it's quite padded on the shoulders so i think it's going to have a fair bit of structure to it i'm intrigued to try this on i think it could be quite long by the looks of it so this might not be one for me but we'll see let's have a look this coat is gorgeous however i think with that shoulder padding it just looks a little bit too much for me can you see i'm not sure if you'll be able to really tell on camera but there it's just it feels too masculine on me to look at in the mirror in real life i'm just not sure it's the one the length is lovely i actually think this would look so great on a lot of people i just don't think i am one of them maybe i could have done with a size down so that the shoulder pads don't pop off so much but yeah i just feel like it's it looks like i'm wearing like just my dad's coat if that makes sense it's swallowing me it's drowning me it's too much on my kind of silhouette and for me with my height i think so it's not one for me however the quality is lovely recycled wool very thick lined it's going to keep you warm so if you are taller than me and you can carry this silhouette better i would highly recommend so that is it for my 2023 coat haul and try on i really hope you guys enjoyed this i know there's not as many coats as there have been in previous years and that is purely because i really have firm favorites when it comes to coats now a lot of the brands are also reissuing the same things over and over year in year out which i love i don't get distracted by a ton of new things i don't always want to buy like whole wardrobes of new coats like i'm really really happy with what i already have in my wardrobe and other than the things that i already have and i love so much i don't find myself gravitating towards that many new things i also seem to gravitate towards very timeless things now and i really focus on the quality a lot of the time so i find it really really hard to make these coat edits in the same way that i used to where there would be an edit of like 20 coats so i hope you did enjoy seeing the few things that caught my eye let me know if you do pick anything up and what your favorites were but i hope you're all having a lovely day and i will see you guys again very very soon love you bye